doing, doing a bit another video. A minute ago, I don't know what happened. I think it was on mute because I haven't got my glasses on. The first really lengthy bit of video I've just done. You won't be able to hear anything I've said. Apparently, it's all on mute. Which is alright because all basically you're seeing is me jumping around. You won't be able to have to put up with all the rubbish. All I'm pointed out in that one is how flat the land is. It's very much like Somerset in some ways. I mean, there is the odd hill. And further right over is the start of the Peak District. But this particular area is quite flat. This is the Leeds, a tributary of the Liverpool Leeds Canal here. And back there, we'll be passing it again in a minute, is um, Rufford Hall. And I had wondered if we, I'd circled it on the map, I had wondered whether we had any medieval connection with the place. Or whether um, it was something to do with Zara's side of the tree on her dad's side. I also pointed out that we're very near Croston here. Very close to Croston indeed. It's, it's a village just up up the road. It, it's a couple of miles away. You stumble straight across it when you come out of here. It's, it's more or less sort of over there somewhere. Very, very close. Um, so I'm, what I'm doing now, I've put, pressed a button which I think turns the mute on or off. I'm heading back in a minute. What I'm doing is just going up to this little bridge and then I'm going um turning around going to go to have a look at the railway station up, up the road now um yeah it's very flat very much like Somerset and they do have floods there were some terrible floods in the past or several years ago and they had to have um some people I think a policeman died on a bridge somewhere um, I don't know, I'd have to get the details, but uh, so it, as you can see, it's very flat, prone to flooding. And they did have some quite bad floods with a bridge that was completely washed away, apparently. I, I got a feeling there was a policeman on it, and the Queen opened the new one called Marine Bridge. All right, we just got there. This is bridge number eight, similar to our Bridgewater Canal. British Waterways, Town Meadow Swing Bridge, Bridge Eight. Of course, I've got the walking sticks that George got me, but I don't tend to use them because I'm always holding the camera. It's a beautiful day. It's beautiful. It really is beautiful here. And this is Zara's ancestral country. I don't know when the canal was dug. I don't know any of the history. I haven't had time to do museums. But I've been here a week. I've tried to do quite a bit of stuff. Churches, graveyards. I've located where and been inside the archives at Preston. Um, I've had some lovely discoveries. I've got to put everything together. It's not easy in the van because I can't get my tree up properly. I can't get access very well at all. It's always going off. Um, 
Seemed to stay on long enough when Nancestry were after my money though. It's beautiful. Look where I am, in the middle of nowhere. There is a road there that takes you to back to Croston, that does, or Preston you can go, or you can join up the motorway that way. It's beautiful Zara. This is some um, Hodge country. Beautiful, peaceful at the moment. I suppose it looks different in the rain and the pouring wind. Pouring rain in the and the wind. So use canal. I'm going to walk back down that way now and then go just have a look at the little railway station. And I'm going to have a nice coffee and then I've got to try, I've got a horrible thing to do. I've got to get to a Tesco's. Well, somewhere I went the other day where I got lost. But uh, I'm just going to stay on the main road straight into the town and I'll find it this time. I need to get some proper water, some yoghurt. Right, over and out. <laughs>